In this video, we shall discuss the types or categories of project life cycle. In our previous video, we described project life cycle as a series of phases that a project goes through from start to closure. The four types or categories of project life cycles are predictive life cycle, incremental, iterative, and adaptive life cycles. Hybrid life cycle combines two or more of the above types. The types of project life cycle depends on project characteristics such as stability or degree of change in requirements, frequency of delivery, how often the phases are performed or repeated, or the number of cycles, and the project goal. We will use software development project domain to explain the types of project life cycles. In the predictive life cycle, requirements are predictable and stable and changes are not expected. There is only one delivery, which occurs late in the cycle at the deployment phase. A project is completed in one cycle and the phases within it are performed once and occur in sequence. The goal is usually to manage cost. Waterfall projects follow predictive life cycle. In this diagram, between the start and the close of the project, there is only one single delivery, which occurs at the deployment phase. There is only one cycle, and the phases within it occur in sequence. In the incremental life cycle, requirements are fairly predictable and are grouped into modules or increments. There are multiple small deliveries. A project is completed in several small cycles, building and delivering each module or increment in each cycle up to the last cycle. A module delivered in one cycle is not expected to be changed or refined in another cycle. The customer may be able to start using a deployed module immediately. The phases are performed once for each module or incremental delivery. The goal is usually speed. From this diagram, between the start and close of the project, in the first cycle, the first module is created and deployed. In the second cycle, the second module is created and deployed. Likewise, in the third cycle, the third module is created and deployed. The phases are repeated in subsequent cycles up to the last cycle when the last module or increment is created and deployed. In the iterative life cycle, there is ritual of front planning. The product may be fairly compressed and unpredictable, and changes are expected. There is one single delivery. A project is completed in several small cycles. Product versions or prototypes are created and refined in each cycle up to the last cycle when the final version is delivered. The phases within each cycle may occur in sequence or overlap. The goal is to achieve correctness of the solution. Prototyping and spiral models follow the iterative life cycle. From this diagram between the start and close of the project, in the first cycle, the first product version is created but not deployed and feedback is received. This feedback is used to modify the first product version in the second cycle and new features could also be developed to create a second product version which is not deployed but feedback is received. Likewise, in the third cycle, the third product version is created and feedback is received. The phases are repeated in subsequent cycles up to the last cycle when the final or desired product version is created, accepted and deployed. In the adaptive life cycle, there is little upfront planning. The product may be fairly unpredictable and changes are expected. There are multiple smaller deliveries. A project is completed in several smaller cycles. Each cycle is between one to four weeks. Product increments are created and refined in each cycle and could also be deployed. The phases within each cycle may occur in parallel or overlap and are repeated for each incremental delivery. The goal is to provide customer value via frequent deliveries and feedback. Agile approach such as Chrome or Kanban follow the adaptive life cycle. From this diagram, between the start and close of the project, in the first cycle, the first 
increment is created and could be deployed. Feedback is received. This feedback is used to modify the first increment in the second cycle and new features could also be developed to create a second increment which could be deployed and feedback is received. Likewise, in the third and fourth cycles, the third and fourth increments are created which could also be deployed and feedbacks are received. The phases are repeated in subsequent cycles up to the last cycle when the last increment is created, accepted and also deployed. So, in summary, from the Agile Practice Guide, in this two-dimensional graph, the degree of change increases along the x-axis, while the frequency of delivery increases along the y-axis. At the blue cycle, the point where s and y-axis intersect, the degree of change is zero, and the frequency of delivery is one. So, the four types of categories of project life cycle are Predictive life cycle at the point where S and Y axis intersect, the blue cycle where the degree of change is zero and the frequency of delivery is one or single delivery. You have the incremental life cycle up along the Y axis where the degree of change is zero and the frequency of delivery is high or multiple small deliveries. You have the iterative life cycle to the right along the S axis where the degree of change is high and the frequency of delivery is one or single delivery and the adaptive life cycle where the degree of change is higher and the frequency of delivery is also higher or multiple small deliveries. So the project life cycle category or type that is best suited for a project depends on the characteristics of the project. Some projects may not fall into a single life cycle as they may have characteristics that falls between the predictive life cycle and adaptive life cycle. Hybrid life cycles combine two or more of the specific life cycle types in a desired pattern. Thanks for watching. Please drop your comments, subscribe and hit the bell button so that you get notified when we come up with new videos.